What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. In today's video I have some major news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on modern devices, A12+, Plus, on iOS 15.0 all the way up to iOS 16.5. Two brand new kernel exploits have been released out of the blue. These could be used for a jailbreak, they are open source, they have been released, and OPA334, the developer behind Dopamine Jailbreak, says that this is basically a huge piece of the puzzle and we only need a PPL bypass and we can create a jailbreak. So that's huge, the biggest news of the year in terms of jailbreaking. We're gonna get into that in a second. This video is brought to you by Passive Activation Unlock, a software that allows you to unlock your device if you forgot your password and Apple ID for your device, or you accidentally set those, or maybe you created an account that is a throwaway for applications, you don't remember the password anymore. If your device is locked in any way, or it's unable to activate, and it says could not activate or activation error, this could definitely help you fix the device. Definitely check the program out in the link below, it does support Windows as well as Mac OS and a free trial is available. To get the Windows version you press in here and that's about it. They currently have a promotion as well so definitely check it out. You should know that this does support iPhones and iPads as well so if you have a tablet this does support it. So definitely check it out below. Alright so today I posted two major articles on my website. The first one is this one about the kernel vulnerabilities slash exploits that have been released. So out of the blue this developer over here just decided to release this KFD or kernel file description which is a project to read and write kernel memory on iOS and other Apple devices. And this project over here also comes bundled with two exploits. This one, which exploits this vulnerability and it was fixed in 16.4, and most importantly this one, PUF Smith, which was fixed in iOS 16.5.1. And these exploits work on the newer devices as well, so iPhone 14, 13, 12, 11, these are supported. This is not an exploit for old devices, for deprecated checkrain devices. This is for the newest devices. Of course, after learning about this, OPA334, the developer behind Dopamine Jailbreak, posted this. It appears that read and write on the kernel is now possible on iOS 16.5 and below. See the last retweet, but please keep in mind that a jailbreak is not possible without a PPL bypass. So as I mentioned, we still need a PPL bypass, but the kernel vulnerability in a kernel exploit, because it's not just a bug, it's a full exploit for that bug, this is huge. And as you can see over here, we have the vulnerabilities detailed. And then somebody asked OPA334, is a PPL bypass actually the last thing we need for a jailbreak? And OPA334 replies with, yeah, well, if we only get this plus a PPL bypass, then there will be a lot more dirty work needed to remove the need for C calling or PAC bypass, talking about dopamine here. Right now, a lot of it relies lies on that, but jailbreaking iOS 15.2 and newer should be possible without a PAC bypass. So what we got today out of the blue is basically the whole foundation for a jailbreak for iOS 15.2 all the way up to iOS 16.5. However, there is a catch. If you're running iOS 16.5.1 or iOS 17 beta, it's very likely that the vulnerability is already patched, which means that you will not be able to use it. However, there is something you can do. You can't go back to iOS 16.5 because it's no longer signed. However, iOS 16.6 beta 2 is signed and this one is compatible with the vulnerability. The jailbreak exploit works on that. So here on this page that is going to be in the description down below, I made a table with all the IPSW files, the firmware, with iOS 16.6 beta 2 for all devices. Go ahead, if you're running 16.5.1 or newer, go ahead, press the download button for your device and flash that IPSW. And this will bring you to iOS 16.6 beta 2, which can use those vulnerabilities. As I said, this is the biggest news in the jailbreak community in the past year. You definitely don't want to miss this out. So definitely check out the table with the download links for the proper firmware down below. If you're running a lower version than iOS 16.5.1, you're okay. However, if you don't, go ahead and downgrade right now because we don't know when Apple will stop signing this beta. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Peace out.